Breaking news, 49ers have made another signing. Austin Bryant, the defensive end, who I told you about this morning. He was visiting the 49ers facility. He has signed a one-year contract confirmed by the Athletics. So the 49ers now have 63 players on board for this 2023 season. 27 to go, I would say that a few more will be filled by free agency and then they're gonna have a big draft weekend currently 11 picks plus all the undrafted free agents to get up to 90 but austin bryan he's averaged about 250 snaps per season means the 49ers still need to sign at least one more edge rusher and draft an edge rusher they still have a good 500 or so snaps to make up for after a lot of departures there. Bryant, he's got four and a half sacks on his career. He's a light edge rusher, 250 pounds. So more of a speed guy with some twitch. Obviously not a great player, but somebody that Chris Kasarek can work with. And he has played with Cleveland Farrell before, his new 49ers teammate on that defensive line at Clemson. Clemson in the 2018 season won the national championship at Levi Stadium over Alabama. And uh, Austin Bryant was a big, big part of that football team. So the 49ers are stocking up to depth. They need that depth, that defensive end. They like what they see out Austin Bryant. You don't sign a guy like this unless Chris Kosarek likes him and unless Chris Kosarek believes that he can work with him. This is how roster construction works with the one year deal. I'm sure that it, uh, the 49ers have managed to save uh, some, more calorie, some more salary cap space. They didn't save calories at cafeteria is going to be uh, dishing out the calories still for all these defensive linemen, but they did save salary cap space. Six million or so for the 49ers right now left in salary cap space for this 2023 season after signing Austin Bryant.